Welcome back to Teacher Nene TV. For today's video, I'm going to share to you a milk paste class observation lesson plan in English 1 with the lesson rhyming words. This is with annotations regarding the CRA and objectives. Okay, so here's another example of a daily lesson log or lesson plan in English 1. This is in the third quarter, week 1. Okay, so as you can see here, we will going to provide some annotations here. Depende dun sa CRA and objectives na ating mga na-touch uh, while we are teaching this lesson plan or lesson. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the the objectives, ayan, yung content standard, performance standard, and the learning competency. Yung learning competency na ginamit natin here is recognize rhyming words in nursery rhymes, poems, and songs heard with uh, code EN1PA-LLA-E-2.2. Okay, and our subject matter is rhyming words. So, here sa references, lalagay nyo lang naman kung ano yung mga ginamit ninyong references. Alam nyo naman yan. So, nandyan. So, K-12 milk, learning packet ng bata or the module. You can even put here yung pivot na ginagamit natin ngayon ng Calabar Zone. And then, here naman sa akin kasi yung ginawa ko, I also use some textbooks where in entitled reading and writing textbooks. Ayan, then we will put the pages. I also have the other materials like the links in YouTube yung gagamitin ko sa aking lesson. Okay, let's go to procedure. So, here in procedure, I review about alphabet first. Okay, so in reviewing alphabet, ang ginawa ko, nag-provide ako ng video from the YouTube, kaya tayo may link. And then, na-touch doon yung CRA 1 Objective 2, wherein I ensure positive use of ICT to facilitate the teaching and learning process. Okay, I so the first one is I use Google Meet for my virtual lesson presentation or yung iba naman ginagamit ay Zoom. It depends upon kung ano yung available sa inyong place or kung saan kayo sanay o sanay yung mga bata. And then, I also use YouTube website for the alphabet song. And then, I let the learners sing together with the video. Okay? So, yan. Siyempre, after singing the alphabet song, we're going to ask some questions to them. And then, letter B. Establishing a purpose for the lesson or the motivation, let's say. So, here, I've shown picture of puppies or let's say mga pets sa bahay. And then I connect it to Val Pets because we are from Valenzuela City so I connected it to Valenzuela City Pets and asked some questions regarding about the Val Pets kung may idea sila. Okay? And then dyan uh, ginawa ko yung pets kasi ginawa ko motivation yung pets kasi my poem is about our puppies. Okay? As you can see here. Ayan. And then I also provided the questions before reading, during reading, and after the reading of poems. So in doing that, natouch ko naman yung CRA 1 Objective 1, which is Applied Knowledge of Content Within and Across Curriculum Areas. I presented the poem, which is aligned to the competency needed to achieve. And then I integrated science subject as we talk about some parts of the body and how to care for animals. And then, andyan din nakita ninyo yung localization. Okay, localization took place through connecting and introducing Valenzuela City Pets to our lesson. And then here, CRA 1 also, na-touch din namin ng Objective 3. Applied a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. So the first one, I let the learners answer according to their experiences. And then, I also let them answer regarding the poems. Ayan. And then, attach din ang CRA 2, Objective 6, which is use strategies for providing timely, accurate, and constructive feedback to improve learner performance. So, I provided also positive feedbacks for their correct answers. Minsan kahit uh, wrong answers, we give positive feedbacks. And then, i-correct na lang natin sila agad-agad. 
Alright? Uh, here sa letter C, presenting examples or instances of the new lesson. Ayan, nilagay ko, have you noticed highlighted words in our poem? Can you spell, read, share it to everyone? So, what are those words? So, when they answer to teacher, inispell muna nila yung uh, mga words natin. Siyempre, in spelling, they also have the uh, sounds of the letters. Ayan, so, natouch, natouch ko yung craft to objective 4. Established a learner-centered culture by teaching strategies that respond to their linguistic uh, background. Diba parang pag sinabi natin li linguistic, it's all about languages eh. Hindi po ba? Uh, it is an education to a small but growing field of linguistics which advocates a greater use of linguistic theory. So it's all about words. Hindi po ba kapag sinabi natin ling linguistic background. Okay, and then Kratu. I also touched the Kratu, Objective 6, use his strategies for providing timely, accurate, and constructive feedback to improve learner performance. Ayan, so kahit na, ito, i-clear ko lang dito, positive, o, uh, positive feedbacks kahit na correct or wrong yung answers. Okay? It is for their improvement ng performance nila. Okay? And then, sa letter D, discussing new concepts and practicing new skills. Pinakanta ko ulit sila ng another song which is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And then, I also got the link to the YouTube. So, same din nung nauna. Kasi since ang lesson ay rhyming words on nursery rhymes or the songs heard, yun, nagkakumakanta kami. And then, I touched the CRA 1 Objective 1. Applied Knowledge of Content Within and Across Curriculum Teaching Areas ulit. So, I presented the nursery rhyme which is aligned from the competency needed to achieve. Pwede din natin ipasok dito ulit yung sa ICT. Ayan. And then, discussing new concepts and practicing new skills. So, yung guided practice namin ay pinresent ko through groupings. This is quite na mahirap. Kasi mahirap mag-grouping si virtually, ano? Especially grade 1 ito, kailangan ng guidance ng parents. So, yung mga provided kong activities, nilagay ko dyan, kunyari, what are the words that rhyme with the word God, with the word pray, and peace. Okay, and then they answer it. Ayan, nagpinagtulong-tulungan nila. And then, I explained about God, pray, peace. So, ano importance ng mga ito? Sino, bang, sino ba si God? Something na ganun. So, I touched the Kratu Objective 4, establish a learner-centered culture by using teaching strategies that respond to their religious background naman. Okay? So, yun nga. I let my learners know who is God and His good deeds to us. I explain to the learners the importance of praying in prayer. Okay? And then, natouch din ang Krawan Objective 1, Applied Knowledge of Content Within and Across Curriculum Teaching Areas. Ayan, so pinakita yung shown, ayan, shown integration of values in the subject English. Okay, yung values lagi naman yung hindi nawawala when we are teaching. I also touch, again, the Krato Objective 6, yung giving uh, accurate and constructive feedback to improve learner performance. Okay? This can be uh, done kahit na individual or group. And then sa letter F, developing mastery. So, I gave them a chance to make a handy thumbs up or thumbs down using uh, recycled materials. So, for example, the old cardboards and then old sticks, something like that. Okay, yun yung ginamit nala. So, by doing that, uh, natouch ko yung Kratu, Objective 4, establish a learner-centered culture by using teaching strat that respond to their socio-economic background. Diba pag sinabi natin socio-economic background, parang hindi naman siya actually about income, but it's all about uh, perceptions of social status and social class, something na ganyan. Ayan, pagtitipid din kasama dito. Ayan, so uh, their handy thumbs up and thumbs down were made of reusable materials or indigenous materials like cardboard and sticks. Excuse me for the dogs. And then, CRAT 2, Objective 6. Ayan, yung sa, it's all about feedbacks again for their correct and wrong answers. 
Okay? So, finding practical application of concepts and skills in daily living, paano daw natin siya i-coconnect sa pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay, di ba? So, I ask them the importance of listening to the parents and teacher. Okay? So, tinanong ko sila, kahit Tagalog, tinanggap ko yung mga answers nila. And then, as I sum it up, nilagay ko dito, it is important to listen actively because it leads to better comprehension and understanding. And then, I also uh, give it to them the idea that Filipinos are known as very good listeners. Parang it is one of our good points in our culture. That is why many international companies like Filipinos as their workers. So, here na-touch ko naman yung cultural background ng mga Filipinos. Wherein, I explain to the learners that proper listening is a good culture or good points of Filipinos. Okay? And then, letter H, making generalizations and abstractions about the lesson. So, what are rhyming words? Ayan, how can we recognize or know that the words rhyme with each other? So, nagsagot sila. So, by giving their answers, natouch naman dyan yung Crowan Objective 3, applied a range of teaching strategies to develop critical and creative thinking as well as other higher order thinking skills. Ayan. And then, pagkapunta pag, uh, sa evaluating, learning, or evaluation part natin, I let them identify the missing rhyme word for each nursery rhyme below. Select from the given choices. So, write your answers in your learning packet or module. So, here, natouch naman ng CRA 3, Objective 8. Set achievable and appropriate learning outcomes that are aligned with learning competencies. Okay, so... Lahat naman kasi ng activities na nilagay ko, provided activities ko dyan, ay aligned to the learning competencies. ba Ganun naman lagi dapat. And then, for the additional activities for enrichment or remediation, ayan, homework, nagbigay lang ako ng homework for their practice. So, write five pairs of rhyming words, write it on your English notebook. Okay, so for the whole lesson, I also touched the CRA 3, Objective 7, Selected, Develop, Organize, and Use Appropriate Teaching and Learning Resources, including ICT to adjust learning goals. Okay, okay. so yung, yung ICT, while I'm doing this or executing this uh, lesson, I make sure that there's included ICT activities, activities na may connection sa ICT. Okay, to adjust learning goals. At yun ay makikita dun sa pinaka-presentation ko na din. So, so much. Uh, ito lang yung may share ko sa inyo for today. This is only an example. This is not uh, 100% correct or right. But this is how I, uh, what I did to my lesson. Ayan, how I execute my lesson with PPST indicators or CRA objective annotations. Okay, so sana po nakatulong ako sa inyo for giving you some ideas about it. So once again, thank you so much and do not forget to subscribe, like, and share Teacher Nai Nai TV. Bye-bye! See you on my next Edu Vlog. Magandang araw mga kapwa ko guro. Aking ngayong ibabahagi ang aking nagawang milk-based video lesson para sa MTB MLE1.